I reacted to Easy's new reality TV show, Studs. I watched it. I gave my opinion. Of course, Easy and Natalie fans came over to my channel. I consider them my fans as well because they're always in my comments. And there was one comment telling me, how could you react to that episode out of all the episodes? That's the episode where they're all drunk, like, like, and blah, 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 and you haven't even seen it from the beginning, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I, I gave a disclaimer. I said I didn't watch all the episodes. I watched the most viewed episode. And if the most viewed episode is the episode where they're all drunk and acting a fool, that ain't my fault, okay? That just goes to show you what type of fans easy has okay don't blame me for that but just to give them another chance i'm gonna watch their latest episode easy gets into it with another stud studs los angeles episode 9. i want y'all to sit back relax and enjoy my reaction let's get it oh, okay. And that's the toxic masculinity that I'm speaking about. That whole part was about them getting physical with each other. Aggression, fights, anger. That's toxic masculinity. And that's what a lot of these studs and masculine presenting women in the lesbian community try to bring over. It's toxic. You don't have to be that way just because you're masculine. Just so y'all know. So the one who left this comment, that's what I mean. Okay? <laughs> I don't know, man. It was insane. You just went too far in terms of just being drunk and doing dumb shit. It's embarrassing. As Especially at my own, like, place, my own spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's embarrassing. As Did y'all hear that, Easy and Natalie fans? They actually agree with me. Even they know they, would look, they were looking like a damn fool. They're embarrassed. They're all drunk. They're just confirming everything I said. So what's the problem? Are you mad? Because I'm right? I'm not right all the time, but I am a lot. All right, so y'all challenge is, let me ask you to take it out. You don't know it, you don't know it. I think I do. No, 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 you don't. And if I do, I know how to win. No, you don't. All right, this is y'all challenge, okay? You don't think you do? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Oh, yeah. She was in the kitchen. What I put that in. All right, y'all ready? So this is y'all challenge. We lesbian, all right? Right? We all, all right? <laughs> yes. When was the last time you had a dog in your mouth? Never. All right, cool. So we gonna have some dogs in our mouth. We got what? some rope. Listen, look, we got rope. So I'm tying this rope around your waist. Around your waist, right? We're gonna put the dog. Listen, and then we're gonna put the dog. That's just on embarrassing, yo. Right? Yeah. What's <laughs> And y'all got to stroke That's just embarrassing. And kiss it in your mouth. So we get to black on the block and I got the challenge for the girls. And I'm like, boom, put a hot dog around your waist and stroke it. You know what I'm saying? And try to catch it in your mouth. Pause. Easy, you better okay. do it too. Because if you're going to embarrass them out in public like that, you better do it too. The first person to win wins the challenge and wins the vote. Y'all ready? I knew it was Wait, what are they going to win? Because they all studs. So I'm like, yeah, what if they catch a hot dog in their mouth? Fire. What are they going to win? Y'all ready? Sorry, I missed it. That's, I don't know how I feel about this yet. Hold on, I gotta keep watching. Because right now, from what I'm thinking, it's like, damn, you're really trying to embarrass these people in front of everybody. See, like, come on now. I wouldn't see it. I wouldn't see a problem with this if I wouldn't see a problem with this if it was at an intimate house party. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when you're all around all your friends, but you're in a public place, you don't know if there's any homophobics out there, and and they're already stereotyping everybody. So then they see you doing this, like what kind of what kind of gay shit is this? You know what I'm saying? Like coming like fur, straight from the trees. I, I don't know what to think about it. Wins, like I play for it's and another embarrassing and moment. Some dudes say all yellow bins that be like Simpson trigger the flash. I get attention more than they doubt me. I rev up the engine. Smart with this. But I will say it depends what they gonna win. If they gonna win some money, 
then that's different. Because there's a reward at the end. What kind of reward are they getting? She likes to put them dogs in her mouth. We're going to turn up and get lit, man. Let's get it, boy. I told you I was going to get that belt. Hey, I told you, I told you, you it up, Wrap it up. So we just left Black on the block. Easy had us doing this stupid ass hot dog jelly. <laughs> but the best eater in the house won. I got the belt now. She's getting too good right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the belt? What's the belt? What's up? Okay, so obviously you guys know I have not watched the show. Just this is my second episode that, that I've watched, so maybe you know what the belt is. Tell me in the comments. Hell yeah! The belt does not sound good to me. <laughs> okay, okay. That's dope. Hey, he's a real one for this chick, nigga. Oh God! How dumb is him? They haven't even been they haven't even been friends for that long, okay? And she's out here buying people jewelry. That's why you have fake friends around you, girl. You fucking up. It's your fault. That's so dumb. Buying your friends. That's the problem. Give it some time. Let them invest their efforts into you, you know, your trust, your loyalty. Your, the honesty. Let them work for that first before you go ahead and shower them with gifts. So we have a great ass time at Black on the Block. Show up, they always show them mad love. And Diamond's like, yo, I got a spot we can go to. One of my homegirls party or whatever. It's like a little lesbian party or whatever. And I'm like, all right, bet. Now when Diamond say she got us, she got us. I'm great. <laughs> Smith pulling the aunties. I knew it, yo. That's why I like Smith, yo. Because she's more mature than all of them motherfuckers. She ain't trying to bring babies. She's trying to bring some grown ass women back home, okay? That's why I like Smith. Oh, oh, oh. We got in that motherfucker. We go, we pull up. Sprinter van. It's lit. The security like, oh, I know you. He dabbed me up. He like, yeah, yeah, come on, I'll escort y'all down. Escorting us down to this lit ass party. It's like some downstairs shit, it look lit. I'm like, oh, this poppin', see? That's what I'm talking about, Diamond. Diamond got us right here. <laughs> what does Diamond do for a living? She promoter? We had something. Uh, we came in, we knew the DJ, the people at the door let us in with our cameras. We're having a good time. Nobody had to pay for anything because when I say I got us, I actually got us. I haven't been to a club since my 20s, a nightclub. It's been a minute and I was a big club head. It was beginning, like it was a good... I used to go clubbing once or twice a week. Getting a little older, it's just kind of boring now. Now I'm looking around like this is dumb. <laughs> I have been all that shit, so it was really fun. And then I seen a couple of my friends there, like. <laughs> we walk out the bathroom. Diamond on the DJ poop. We hyping her up. See my DJ homie. We all having a good time, but the attention was all on us. Automatically, as soon as we walked in, they seemed uh -oh. like a group of like, swaggy ass motherfuckers. We try to walk to uh -oh. the DJ booth, and some- That's a problem. Some little ass studs come up to us <laughs> on some raw rock type shit. It be shit. like, like that. You know that. It be like you know, that. Like the little, little man I believe it. Shit. Like I believe it. I know we start getting pressed by these two midget studs. <laughs> and they were it's like, dumb. hey, who in here filming? Why, why are y'all filming? The same reason why y'all are, because we try and get content, bro. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> of course, you had some little girl with dreadlocks come in <laughs> to start trouble with us. They come in, start grabbing my cameras, start pushing them down or whatever. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's is going on? Is it their, is it their party? Is that why? I'm like, oh, okay, bad. Like, but I thought they was playing because Diamond is on the DJ booth. Oh, it's and their I'm like, party. Oh, this is bringing no issue. Who, who's producing this? I'm like, easy. Here, bro. Turn it off for security. It's gonna get you out. Okay, you can be about to be aggressive. No, we didn't because y'all came in here aggressive. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. That's some good oh, editing. I like that. I like that. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, come on, I'll escort y'all down. That's escort funny. us down to this lit ass party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No, we knew it because y'all came in here aggressive. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Okay. I literally told the girl, I said, look, man, we'll cut the cameras off. Were they too, to were they wilding too much? Is that it? Because I could see that. I could see that when you see a group of people coming in with cram cameras and lighting in a, in a basement party, okay? And they're coming in too hyped. You get what I'm saying? When they're all too hyped, I'm like, okay, chill. Like, it's kind of annoying. You know what I'm saying? I get that perspective, especially in the way that they're talking. They're probably the ones who is hosting the party. So if they created this event, easy, listen to them. Just listen to them. Do not let your pride get in the way because they are right in the situation. Okay, this is what it sounds like to me. I say it just like that. She's like, nah, this is our spot. Y'all trying to come in here and I don't know who y'all think y'all is. And I'm just like, yo, chill out. You ain't got to be I can see that. Bro, chill. I can see that. I can see Easy and the crew doing a little too much. They're attention seekers, if that makes any sense. It's too much sometimes. Just humble yourself a little bit. Have a good time, just like everybody else. Cut the cameras off. Turn off those lights. Like, you know, have a good time. Not everything has to be filmed. Y'all in the industry. It don't work like that, bro. Y'all came in and y'all didn't pay X, Y, and Z. Every time you know how these parties work, you gotta pay, blah, blah, blah. I said, whoa, 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 cowgirl. Slow it down. <laughs> Reel it in, baby girl. I'm not supposed Actually, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, you know how these events go. Y'all should pay. That is true. In the gay community, you want to support each other. That's why there's entrance fees to these places because it's investing money into events like this for our community. There's a lot out there, but it's not enough. So help in that way. Here recording and I was supposed to pay and I got it. It's a private event, it's invite only. Diamond got invited. Yo security said he knew me and he loved what I'm doing, all of them. Three, y'all all seen us walk past us with y'all security. Y'all security escorted us in like where it was motherfucking top flight. <laughs> that like is true. So I'm like, damn, but that's where the problem lies. Sometimes they're not around to have all, to watch all their employees do what they're supposed to do. That could have slid right past them without them even knowing. And then y'all made it so obvious because y'all want to hype it up <laughs> and go crazy. So now that they know, they don't like it. And if they don't like it, it's their event. You know, create your own event. Easy. I know you can make a party of your own. I know that for a fact. I mean, you got the money for it, right? And you know plenty of people in the industry. You can make your own party. Don't ruin someone else's, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they have less than you. Let them shine. You know, why do you got to shine along with them? Let them do their thing. Like Beyonce. But your little girlfriend didn't like the treatment we was getting. That's what I'm assuming. Now, y'all push me to the curb. Uh, <laughs> treat me like... Then while she getting all rah rah buck wild, I guess the owner of the party comes up to me. She's a beautiful woman. Comes up to me like, yo, what's going on? I'm Claire. I'm Claire. I'm the founder of this. What's going on? Claire? Yes. 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 I she love that. Like, I love that. I love that. I love that the owner of the party did not back down and still told her, put those fucking cameras away. But she did it in a more professional way. She starts talking to me and she's like, look, I am so sorry. One of them is my girlfriends and you know how studs can be. I know, I know. I'm sorry. You know how the masculine is she literally like, you know how studs can be. Like, she just a little aggressive. Maybe, maybe a little intimidated by y'all, but just whatever you do. I didn't hear her say that. Like, intimidated by y'all? Like, right, I didn't hear that. As we're talking, and, and she just tells me this, the little stud come back over on some raw, raw, raw <laughs> Oh, no. Shit. See, like, that's the problem right she there. She just told us why. Is when the girlfriends got to fuck shit up. I'd be pissed. If I was the owner, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, I told y'all, I, I got this. I'll handle this. Oh my God. Now the girlfriend's gonna fuck everything this up. This ain't even your spot. It's hard. Right. No, no. We need to talk to me. And then when we actually got to talk to the person whose actual event it was, and it had nothing to do with them people, she was like, everything's fine. I'm sorry. They just get a little, they get a little extra, but maybe, you know, you can film. Just not, no, don't turn the lights on and stuff. But. They were still mad. They so still I was right. It was because they came in there fucking rowdy with a whole bunch of cameras and a whole bunch of lights. It's a club, y'all. We don't want to dance where it's bright ass lights. And I'm still being aggressive. So then we had to get up out of there. And <laughs> They trying to kick us out. And we like, oh my God. You tripping. Don't play that shit. Don't play that shit. 
I like what that other stud said because Easy's getting rowdy too. So both of them motherfuckers are getting rowdy. And there's that other little stud telling Easy, uh uh. <laughs> this is not that type of event. This ain't no this ain't no street shit. Okay, we're here to have a good time. They like the, the littlest dogs, but they got all that bark. That was the energy that they came up on. And it just continued even after we left the event. Listen, I'm with the owner on this whole thing. I'm on the owner's side of this. Girlfriend, her said girlfriend was doing too much. She could have lightened that shit down. It wouldn't have gone this far. But by the end of the day, I'm on the owner's side. Get the fuck out, y'all. Y'all are ruining the fucking party. Ain't nobody gonna fight in here. We're having a good time before y'all came, and we're gonna have a good time after you guys leave. Just go. And easy. You and your studs, go home. Go party over there. Go have a good time. Why you so mad at studs? Mind you, when we walk through, they seen a big group of people. You can't miss us. So if you didn't want to let us in, you could have been like, nah, y'all got to pay to get in or you guys can't come in. They were, everybody was fine with it. The only person who had an issue was a little girl with dress. And I feel like the only reason that they kicked us out was because of the girl with dress. I don't know if she was jealous or envious of us or whatever. And maybe it was taking attention away from them, from their club. But like, there was no reason. We didn't do anything. We didn't start any fights. They try to start a fight with us. I think what could have been possible, that little stud was observing. Okay, it's not a problem. Everything seems everything seems fine. But then they were getting a bit too rowdy. And then they saw the cameras doing too much. It's like, okay, we have our own cameras here. Remember, making an event takes months. That shit ain't easy, especially if you don't have the funds for it. So who knows how long this took for them to create. And then when you have a group of people coming in with their own cameras and then promoting it on their content, that is a problem. A lot of private parties wouldn't let you do that, especially because it's private. Only they want to put out content that they think is good for that event. They're not going to know what you're putting out there. And you have the power to do that? No, you cannot just take that power away. It's easy, you're a businesswoman, you should know that. I will say though, if I was uh, the owner's girlfriend, the stud, I would be pissed off after watching this because the owner told her, you know, oh yeah, you know, you know, it's because of that masculine energy. I would be pissed. I don't, I don't care if Easy is a stud or not. You're over there talking to this woman as if I'm the issue. That I could be the issue, but tell me behind closed doors. Tell me in private. Tell me I'm wrong later. Don't tell them I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Where's the loyalty there? And that is real too. Like, studs are like that. Studs are like that with other studs. I do agree with that. She literally said, you know, I'm mad. In the future. It seemed like on some hater energy, they had cameras there. People are recording there. Other people recording there. Nobody saying nothing to them, but just come directly to us. We not trying to cause no problems. We think the party late. I ain't even gonna cap. Even like when we walked out, whatever, the little girl was nuts. <laughs> she tried to come up and when we were just standing outside and she tried to like pull on her fake I guess, and act like she was gonna do something. You're like four feet naked. <laughs> what are you really gonna do? But it was it was just so it was weird. Like, I could tell you, you I could tell you. People underestimate these tiny people. Okay, I don't care what size you are. I don't care your height. I don't care about your weight. I don't care where you grew up at. About your family, your history. I don't care for it. Everyone is capable of hurting someone else. She can have a weapon on her. Do you not understand that? It takes this to lose your life. That's it, and anyone can carry this. After you're, you're, we're taking attention away from you, you should be happy. That's, that's the problem in the gay community. Hey, those studs, 
I agree with Easy on that. I don't know, man. Fe like I like, told you, that toxic masculinity shit. You see men with other men, you know, boss the fuck up. They always gotta box it out to see who's the toughest, right? Studs do that shit. Like, I've always wanted to have a stud friend. Okay, I've never had a stud friend before. It seemed like every time I went out in all my 20s, I want to say what's up. But it's like these studs just stayed away from me and I never knew why. Like, and mind you, this is before social media, okay? Because I'm a cool-ass person. I'm very open. I talk to everybody. At the time, all my friends are femmes because that's what I'm comfortable with and being and used to being around because of my sisters. But I wanted stud friends, but none, none of these studs wanted to talk to me. I don't know if it was intimidation. I don't know if it was insecurities because their girlfriends were around and they were also femmes and I get along with femmes. Like, listen, I'm respectful of people's relationships. I will not do anything to disrespect you or your girl. But because I'm a stud, they just automatically think that. And that's a fact. That's a big problem in our gay community. Like, it shouldn't be like that in the gay it community. It sucks, you know? And we should it's be terrible. supporting each other. You should be happy. Like, you got some big ass people here. You got easy. And usually you got to pay them to come to your club. And they went in there for free. And that's why I that's wish. I'm like, promotion. ooh, okay. There's uh, Easy's got a show called Studs. But I already know where this goes because Easy's a content creator and there's got to be drama. That's the whole point of it. So this type of show, I don't really back up. I can't support this type of representation of studs. You saw that little intro of them. Everything is physical. Everything's boxing. Everything's fighting. Everything's aggression, anger, alcohol. I don't want to back that up. That's not what I want to support. I'm watching this to tell you guys and explain to you why I don't support it. And this is my reaction. This is my opinion, my thoughts. If y'all could have came up with something different that represented us in a good light, then yes you would hear more positive things coming out of my mouth. But this ain't it. Doing some next shit. Is Brie on the phone? Yeah. Let me see. Me the camera. Let me see. What Hello? happened? Can you, I don't, can you put the Brie? camera over here? Respectfully doing so, then they started recording Diamond on their phone. So Joseph Mar turned cameras back on for Diamond's safety. So Diamond is with the other studs right now? Oh boy, here we go. Hey, Diamond tried to talk to another worker at the party to understand what was the miscommunication. Next shit, bro. Leave. 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 Shit to anybody, Leave, bro. my nigga. I'm talking to my friend. So what's the issue? I, I, I'm at, what's Why the is issue? What, 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 what have I done to you? Y'all doing something. So can you move your camera? No, Bria, not, this, I work Bria, for the team. On. I what? work for the team. Here. I know, what? I know, it's fine. So, I'm asking, you, I'm asking what's the, what you guys are outside. You guys could record. You guys know that, right? All of you can record now at this point. Nobody did anything. Weirdo, y'all. Weirdo. No, nigga, you're a weirdo, weirdo, bro. Weirdo. Fuck you, bro. You're the one starting the shit. Weirdo. You're a weirdo, bro. Nigga, you jealous because you ugly? Why are you guys still there? It's my question. My and they started being weird. Leave me alone. That's another problem that they have. They stick around for too long. <laughs> That's what happened last time after the nightclub. They stuck around fighting for 30 minutes. Y'all are doing the same damn thing. <sighs> I'm just exhausted, y'all. Just exhausted. Okay. Can you walk okay, with me okay. to the goddamn sidewalk? Okay, okay. Cause let it's not an issue, down. bro. Okay. Like I'm not. Damn, who's this big ass down. woman? Okay. She okay. scares she's, me. She's, she's okay. Let me just let me just she's have a real okay. conversation no, no, with you. No, please, like please. Yeah. Yeah. Got so, calm down, calm down. Yeah. No, 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 I'm calm. I think she's calm. She got very aggressive with me earlier for no reason, and we came here to show love. That's it. Nobody's showing it. And if there was a privacy issue, I apologize. Right. I don't apologize. I appreciate. And that's what it was. But she came at us so crazy. And I agree with that too. And I said, we're all doing that. We're, we're, we're just filming content. She yeah. said, what the f is the camera nigga, for? If, if I said, we're filming content. She said, point out who's easy. Point out who's easy. Me like, nigga, y'all can't Exactly. Film. But if I'm, I'm, like, like, if I'm a business shit. opportunity, I'm going to be like, oh, shit, y'all doing yeah, a reality series? Oh, back. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a difference here, okay? Not all promotion works that way. Not everyone wants that type of marketing. It's up to the owner to decide what type of marketing they want. And if that's not it, if they don't want their event posted just like right now, they got this footage already. That's the point. That's why the owner does not want them to film because they got this. They got this footage and this is what they're promoting about their event. And this is the drama that they brought to the party. 
You get what I'm saying? This is not the type of promotion they wanted. Now y'all are promoting this event like like it's drama. That's why they didn't want you guys to film. Baby, well, what's, what's the issue? Okay. Like, why you guys got me talking with my hands. Can I be real with you? Well, yeah, so what's okay. up? My name is Wax. Wax, I'm Diamond, bro. I'm in the industry cool. too. Yeah, yeah we cool. What's your name? The issue was the cameras and the Just Okay, and that's okay. We could have turned the cameras off, but immediately she's talking about some. Can't do this. Okay, Y'all niggas need to do that. Wait, 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 niggas... wait, wait, no, 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 no. Why are you tripping on me, baby? Stupid. I thought you were joking at first. I literally I I said, Y'all pranking us? Like... I thought she was like, Nah, I'm just with y'all. She said, Stop She's... that shit. But that's why sons can't get along together and shit like this. And that's what I'm trying to do. This is about community. We don't have a lot of spaces like this. We don't. This ain't no Hollywood shit. Absolutely. That's what I said. That's not what this shit is about. That's what I said. This is about giving a safe space for queer, black, Excellence of all types. And I understand that. And That's it, what you I know said. What I mean? We, our presence or that type of presence, I like made her. feel unsafe or made it feel like they were, we were trying now, to. Now, that stud right there is the type of stud that I want to help push and help promote and help support. Y'all would hear more positive things coming out of my mouth for her. Did. That's the why it escalated. It like, why are you so on the camera? We didn't do it. Y'all think. <laughs> They're mad because we look good. Did you hear that shit? That's that's the problem with this Hollywood, L.A. industry. All these people on Easy Show got caught up in the Hollywood lifestyle. Y'all forgot about how small our community is. This is not the right way to promote it. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all came and shut it down. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. We got the invite. I thought it was going to be a good thing. It would be a good thing for black and brown people. I did not want it to be this, and this is why it's upsetting for me. And I'm not upset. Still, I don't want to fight. I don't want no issues. I know, but listen. I want it to be still, able to come back into some, something like this, and it'd be okay. And I know that... That like, was a black and brown LGBT um, event. Okay. If my ass was in there and I saw that group come in, I'd be annoyed too. That she said it was her event. Yeah, okay. You said it's Bree. your event. Yeah, Bree, that's yeah, my Bree. girlfriend. We never even seen her girlfriend. Who was her girlfriend? Oh, that's the stud that, that they're talking about that was aggressive? Wait, now I'm confused because she seems very calm and professional right now. I'm so lost. The, 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 the ugly kid, kid play play. I don't, I don't know. know. I think it was the girl with the dreads. Like, the dreads? Yeah, she was so she aggressive. Said. So what I'm trying to tell you she is must that have the been people aggressive. that you came here with were very disrespectful. I need you guys to go back to the Okay, let's see. I want to see her approach them. They were. By the way, this is editing, so we really don't know how it went down. Easy is the editor of the show. So of course she's gonna show us only the good parts of them having fun, having a good time. Behind the scenes guys, we don't know what's happening. But for the owner and the event planners, if they have a problem with it, something was wrong. They were very I'm, I'm disrespectful, bro. That that. No, we did it because y'all came in here aggressive. Cut it off, cut it off. Cut it off. I just want to know. Oh, what that's not is. aggressive. Is that the part they were talking about? See, I don't know if that's the initial approach, but that did not. That seemed stern. Cut it off. That's how they talk to you at the clubs. Have y'all not been to nightclubs before? Employees, security, club owners, managers, they talk to you like that. They're, they have to be stern because people are drunk and they don't get it sometimes. So when they're telling you cut it off, cut it off, and you're not cutting it off, Let's just because not, I, just not okay, let me tell you. Yeah. So when I saw you guys with the camera, I don't feel like we were in the wrong. Like from the time that we got there, we stated who we were. Um, we got out and talked to everybody. They let us in with cameras. The cameras had the lights on. Yeah. And I asked. I said, "Wait, because I thought y'all were with the people here." Yeah, yeah. But it was brought okay. to my attention very quickly that you're not. Like people who work here, they're not with us. Okay. They let us walk past the, the front desk. Even Diamond said right now, she said, okay. So what she's saying is true as of right now. They were happy for us to be there. We go downstairs, we're vibing for 30 minutes. We're having a good time. And then they just bum rushed us with bullshit. It don't work like that, bro. So I asked you. Yeah. And you seem confused, and I turned around. That wasn't aggressive, but I can I can understand why. If Easy doesn't want to be touched, don't touch her. And I asked him to turn off the camera. I said, if you do not turn off the camera, yeah. I said security is going to have see, to step in. No, that ain't got nothing to do with us. You're mad at us because your people let us in when we weren't an approved camera crew. 
we were approved by the front door. Like, that's y'all issue, not ours. So the fact that it even escalated that way, that that they need to work on their security, not us. I'm the person that got the But y'all should know better too. Like, Being in the oh, industry, y'all should know better. Yeah. We this came the first thing we came to queer, yeah. we get into an issue and they like Damon's oh, still so there. This is Girl, the why are you still the there? community is so like <laughs> masculine presenting women have bad images because women like this. It's not often that it's women like you guys women come together and have a great time, and that's what I was trying to create. And I feel like with them, they ain't want none of that. They wanted problems. They felt intimidated. Oh they felt my like god! The spotlight was taken off them. Oh my god! And brought onto us. And Everything was easy. Like, don't <laughs> get it. You are not shown from this place. All right. Okay. All right. This is a very welcoming place. I understand that. I like to extend a courtesy to you and yeah. thank you for your patience. I Absolutely. apologize. And that's why I came to talk. I don't, you know, no, no issue. Okay. You. I love having a great ass time and promoting people's shit. Now it's just like, damn, bro, like, cause all that drama for no reason. When we pull it up, you know, we gonna act a fool with it. And, and they're still doing too much. Do <laughs> they're still doing it. too much. Ain't got shit to do with it. Do go with home. It. Please go home. Food every episode. Y'all know I'm gonna eat. That's the belt <laughs> that y'all <laughs> embarrass yourselves for. Hey, 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 That's sad. That's desperate. Y'all won't be catching me doing that shit. I'll tell you that much right now. After watching this whole episode, I stand by everything I say. And also, I have a question. Who are the hosts and owners of that event that they went to? I want to know if they have YouTube channels because I would love to follow them and see what they're about and what type of content they have. If you guys know, comment below, please. All right, see y'all in the next video. Peace.